the biggest message for 2024 is, is that we need to be very conscious on how we are affecting our planet. OK, so one of the things is they're saying is that we've got to be more responsible because continually there will be for the next two years till 2026, there will be more earthquakes, floods. Hello, everybody. My name's Nikki Allen. I'm a naturally born psychic medium coming from many generations of mediums before me. I am also now a best-selling author of spiritual books. Two of them are there. And I also do a lot of influencing online to help people to get onto their spiritual path and deal with life's tapestries along the way. And um, this is this story. My house became haunted with spirit people. Um, they literally were saying, Nikki, Nikki, all night. Even my partner at the time could hear the voices. They were walking around the bedroom. Light bulbs were glowing and expanding and, ex you know, exploding. And I had all sorts of spirit phenomena. And it wasn't until I went with my friend to see a medium because she was scared of going on her own um, that the medium said, your house will go calm. And because I kept having a baby crying, this, this baby wah, wah, and I'm like oh my goodness and she said as soon as you start working for the spirit world full time then the baby will carry on crying and she says if you work for them the baby will stop crying it's the first thing she said to us as soon as she opened the door and so literally within well the following week I was in her development circle a spiritual development circle and then within about a month I was then doing my first demonstration in front of a hundred people bringing spirit people to the audience. And the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> Just, I didn't have a choice. You know, obviously my bloodline was there and I and they, my whole reason for existence is to be an ambassador for the spirit world and the angel realms. And so that's what I do. And I think it was back in um, 2012, I had another, act, I had a road accident and ended up in bed for five years. Um, and the prognosis was I'd never get up again and that I would never walk again. It was really, really horrific. But during that time, angels and spirit people came to me, even though I didn't want them there because I was so angry. And um, they basically said, you know, we're going to get you back to working on the most deepest level you could ever imagine. And I'm like, no, no, you're OK. So I had this massive rebirth and spiritual awakening during those five years that's led me to working on a whole different level, channeling angel energy, channeling their messages and predictions, um, and working on this like earth energy because of this big ascension, the 5D that everybody talks about, the fact that the whole planet is raising their consciousness. They've put me right in the middle of that. And so so I now do more of that work than doing readings. I've got, I've got, I haven't got the time to do them anymore because I'm working on this beautiful level, this spirit world in the angel realms. So that's my life story in a very short version. <laughs> I'm enlightened. I'm above this energy. Join the tribe. Let's join all these different wonderful people. You as an enabler, me as a speaker. Join us and we will help you to understand the concept of love, compassion and, you know, evolving your energy, reconnecting back to where you came from. Um, and so that's how it, that's what's happening in the planet at the moment. And it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Um, and I cannot believe now and then I have to pinch myself that I'm part of the process of helping people to find that light, to find the strength of who they really are. Because once you become enlightened and you and you start reflecting on yourself, and that's all part of the growth, you know, looking at yourself and respecting yourself, and you start, you know, coming away from certain friends, coming away from certain relationships, because you start to realise that you deserve better. Every single thing that's taking place on the planet now um, has been described to me as if you imagine perhaps a bad tree that's dying, it's got a disease or it's decayed, you have to dig the roots out, don't you, and, you, and to get rid of it, basically, because it will carry on trying to grow, but it's, it's, it's already decayed. So to give it its honour, you'd have to dig it out. So they describe all of the events that are taking place at the moment as digging out the roots, exposing them to get rid of them.
Okay, so the most recent prediction was the um, assassination, I do believe it's assassination of the Iran president and the attempted assassination of the Slovenian or Slovakian, sorry, the Slovakian president. Um, and so they, they, they're they saying we're not, this isn't all evil and bad stuff happening. We have to dig out what we don't want and eradicate it. So, you know, the wars like, you know, with Russia and Ukraine and the wars that are happening all over the place, basically, they're all to, to dig out, you know, like the Israel-Palestine. It's all to get the root out of what is going on there to bring balance. That's the most important thing. The last the last thing that they spoke to me about um, is like West Africa. They're working hard there. So the Seraphim. They, they give me updates through Archangel Ariel of where they're working in the planet. So they told me about the volcano in Japan. I think it was Japan, wasn't it? I can't remember now where it was. And there was an earthquake, all sorts of things they tell me about. But it's not to bring doom. It's to bring proof because along the way, they also say we're healing the planet, but we have to kind of get things out, dig them out and get rid of them. The biggest message for 2024 is is that we need to be very conscious on how we are affecting our planet, even if it's down to making sure you recycle. When you go to your beaches, pick up the plastic. When you go swimming in the seas, pick out the litter and the plastic. You know, if you walk through a woodland, pick up the litter, be responsible for this planet. And it's the most important thing. Or you can go even bigger, you know, start working in shelters, start volunteering yourself for the planet, animal kingdom and vulnerable children. We all have got responsibility, they say, to bring the planet to a beautiful equilibrium and state to be in for the new generations. We only rent this planet for one incarnation until we come back again later on. OK, so one of the things is they're saying is that we've got to be more responsible because continually there will be for the next two years till 2026 there will be more earthquakes floods so they're saying where there's fire there will be water where there is water there will be dryness where there's heat there will be cold where there's cold there will be heat so what they're trying to say is is that there's weather phenomena taking place at the moment that shouldn't be happening where it is so, for instance, there potentially could be floods in Australia, which is really dry and hot. OK, and there could be fires in a place that normally doesn't have fires. And they're saying this is our wake up call to let you know that you are abusing the planet. Mother Gaia and Archangel Ariel are not happy. They are kicking off and showing us the reality of how we're damaging the planet. So the more these things happen, um, the more that we're going to be thinking, wow, this isn't good because it's right in front of our face now. We've never been shown such catastrophe since ever. You know, if you notice the last couple of years, a culmination of weather disasters and all sorts of things happening so that we've got that. But it's all to bring healing to the planet and awareness to humankind. On top of that, they've also told me that we do have certain government and military and other organizations using weather as warfare. So that chemtrails, there actually are chemicals in these trails that they're putting that can either manipulate weather or bring certain um, climate change to the environment that they're affecting. So this could end up, and the next thing they said to me was potentially there's gonna be a mass crop failure this can be for fruit. So I don't know if anything's going to happen in Florida because the first thing I thought was oranges in Florida for some reason. But there could be mass crop failures. And so this is because the people that are in charge are trying to manipulate who buys from what country. So if they fail one country, they'll buy from somewhere else. And this goes the same with gas, you know, gases and all that kind of thing, oil. So there's going to be a lot more um of this coming through oil problems gas provision fossil fuels and crop failures so it's not it's the end of the world oh no it's think about growing your own vegetables and fruit think about you know sending love to these energies because you know that eventually the leaders that are allowing this will be eradicated. But we just got to go through the motions at the moment. 
So there will be the, the essence of this crop failure. So we potentially could see food, food shortages in wheat and other products that you know are, are mass farmed from the land. Also, the farmers will be educated more and they will feel more inspired to create more organic ways of growth. At the moment, they were saying to me that, i.e. Ariel, was saying to me, Archangel Ariel, she's the Archangel of the plant and animal kingdom and, and looks after our planet. She, her, she helped birth it with uh, Mother Gaia. So she's saying that we're going to change the concept of how farmers farm to, to, to not introduce as many chemicals into the land because this is also killing the land. Um, and so they will, we will have a new generation of farmers that will respect the planet. Because now, if you have anything organic, it's all very special, isn't it? You have to pay loads of money for it. Oh, it's all organically farmed. Because they're literally running against governments that make it too expensive. It's cheaper to get the chemicals in. But now we've got all these new influences, these new people coming in that are going to educate and be shown and inspired by the angel realms how to create mass crops without using chemicals, without damaging the planet. So this is all happening in the background, all happening in the background. The other thing that's happening at the moment is there is an underlying battle with finance. So we have the rich elite, if you like, the people in power that shouldn't be at the moment trying to get us into some form of cryptocurrency. They are desperately trying to get rid of and decimate completely cash because then they can start implementing credit systems, you know. And people would say a few years ago, oh, what a load of rubbish. That's, you know, that's... that's um." You being one of these, you know, conspiracy theorists, you tree hugger, whatever. But, you know, we as tree huggers and conspiracy theorists, you know, predicted um, like the, the, this 15 minute cities. I don't know if you've ever even tried had that over in your country, but they tried to implement that we weren't allowed to go beyond 15 minutes from our home. And they were going to put. Gov you know, they're going to put army and military up and stop you from going beyond 15 minutes for the sake of saving the planet. And it and it literally was a thumbs down in the UK and everything, you know, the barriers they put up, people were smashing them down. So they're all trying to find ways to control us. So one of the things that the angel realms have said to me is, which I've imparted during my channeling sessions, is to say, try and keep your cash, try and keep generating it to go forward. Because once that's gone, they have control of everything digitally. You know, they do it in China where you have social grades of what you can have access to, what you can buy, what restaurant you can go in. And that's what they're trying to implement around the rest of the world. It could be in other countries. That's all I know because what they've told me. Um, and it's not gloom and doom because, it, again, there may be a time, same with AI, there may be a time when it goes pretty bad and it's controlled. You know, AI at the moment will really get into our lives even more so than it does now. So we need to be aware of that and step back as much as we can from it. Even as simple as, do you want AI to write your email? No, I don't. I want to express myself, you know. Even things like that, they're saying is incorporating itself this year. So I don't know if they're going to be incorporating AI into computers or phones. They have to a certain element, I think, but I'm talking proper, hello, how can I help you today? What What is your star sign? What do you like eating? You know, it's going to get that intense. So it will be abused for a little while. But again, I feel by 2026, we're going to start seeing it turn around and be used for the greater good. So at the moment, it's all just a wonderful transition. But of course, anything that needs to be changed brings a bit of chaos in, in the way. So this year is all about being conscientious about your planet, being conscientious about your carbon footprint. It's, it's getting involved. If there are petitions to be signed, get involved, have a voice. We are stronger as an army rather than just one voice saying, come on, let's try and change this. You know, grow. And the other thing, which was big as well this year, is the other crisis which they are facing, they're saying, or we're facing, are bees. Because some of the crops and some of the way that things are being farmed ends up killing millions of bees. 
So they are saying, even if you want to just grow a plant or put something in your, even if you live in an apartment, you know, have a plant on your balcony or by the window that bees will be attracted to. Um, create bee homes. There is a project that started up here, and I hope it gets implemented with all new buildings where they have to have a bee brick in the house that they build so that bees can actually go in there and 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 stay in there safe and like you know do their thing so plant things that attract bees without bees that's the end of civilization because of the pollination that they bring so very much encouraging bees was another message they bought um there are going to be more civil wars breaking out um, and I said, whereabouts? And they said, and they just dotted all over the place. And they said, but again, it's just to get equilibrium, to challenge the leaders and to get them removed or bring someone else to power. So all of this stuff that was happening, the biggest message is, is to smile and know that it's all going towards the greater good. It's going towards something magnificent and we have to get there. You know, we have to trudge through the mud to get to the path. Um, and so it's very much like hold your faith, um, definitely reach out to higher powers, be more spiritually aware, because if we become more spiritually aware, then in meditation, we can be brought messages from the divine celestial layers and we can do things on, you know, we can act on what they say to us and it will all be for the greater good. It will all be for us to have a better planet in all in all ways. So this is the big thing at the moment. The big shift is here and the big shift is get yourself more consciously aware of your soul energy, of the higher energies that are around you so that we can bring you inspiration. We can bring you information. We can bring you ways of being more aware, you know, so they do it to me all the time. Look, if you do that, that's going to help. I go, lovely. So I've got loads of plants. I've got loads of bees out there now, you know, and they just say, right, do this now. I go, okay, I will. Literally, I will do anything that they they ask. And then I ask everybody else to do what they ask. You know, it's their choice. But that is how the state of play is at the moment on, on 2024. Um, the Schumann resonance, which is the heartbeat of the planet, 7.83. This also they've told me that this is a year that it's starting to resonate more with crystal energy. So this means that the properties of crystals will be enhanced so that they can be more beneficial to us as humans, more beneficial to our pets and animals. So that's why I surround myself. I've got that beautiful ring there, which is um, my my citrine, but I literally cover myself with crystals now because they feel stronger and more vibrant. And this is because the resonance is now starting to activate them. So for everybody out there that's got crystals, have them around you, learn you know what they i teach you as well on my channel but learn what they're good for where to wear them how to use them um because they are going to be in a more powerful state of being now which is wonderful news as well um light therapies sound frequency massively they've asked you to start looking into sound frequencies this is the next big part of this consciousness and awareness that it can heal here in this country it's starting to be implemented in hospital sound therapy and so 528 i've got one here i do it regularly on my solar plexus just align all my chakras align my energy earthing grounding yourself to the earth is another thing because we're missing that because we wear shoes and we've got concrete floors, we're missing getting the vital electrons from the planet that help us to heal our systems and help us to vibrate on that resonance. Um, so get yourself barefoot out there or look at earthing products. Um, just literally get yourself out there and connect with the earth because the more you do that, the more you will just suddenly get inspiration or your intuition will say, do this. And whatever that action that one person does, it's mostly been told to millions. So when we all do it together, we create change. It's that simple. It's not hard work. 
And, you know, the other thing is as well, another thing that they said is, can you please tell humankind that all of the stuff we're digging out, i.e. the wars and the disasters that are happening, and um, sometimes there's going to be mass passings as well from accidents, just stuff that's just, it's all, as I say, it's all up and down at the moment. They're saying to not concentrate on who created the badness or who's done what, just send love to the people that are in it. So, for instance, if you think about the wars, you could say, oh, Putin's a really bad man for, like, Russia, and he's this and he's that, and look what's happened, it's really bad. What you're doing is feeding into the consciousness of the leaders. What you need to be doing is I send love to anybody that's been affected by war. Um, and, and this is the other thing, is that because we've incarnated into a human body, a lot of us have forgotten that we are very powerful beings of light. And so they don't realize that our intention is tangible. What we send out is tangible, hence the laws of the universe and laws of attraction. We give out love and benevolence, we shall receive. And so you, when you send a thought process out, if, even if it's across the, like, across the world, like remote healing, you know, remote healers, you sending your energy out is tangible and it will reach the pe people that need it. But for some reason, well, through religion through peerage through parents through you know the want to control the masses people are indoctrined oh I'm not powerful I, I can't do anything I'm just a human so we're trying to say no you're not open your consciousness because you can send love and you can heal energy you can heal spaces people land you can do it all and so the powers that be are, are threatened by this because they're like no we can't let them know that they're powerful and then there's people like me that go, and you are powerful. This is how to do it, you know. And so um, that's mainly what's happening around 2024 at the moment. Um, all the changes are not, not bad. They're all happening for the greater good. And, of course, with big change, with these elements of transition that we're going through, there's going to be people caught in the mid-flow of that. And I asked about this. I said, yeah, I know you're saying it's all good about, you know, all of the under tunnels used for smuggling people in Israel and all the rest of it. I said, but what about the poor people that are dying and, you know, in crossfire of all of this stuff going on? And they said they are beautiful souls that agreed in their soul contract to be part of that movement up to the spirit world during this transitional time. So I said, so they're blessed. They're, they said they don't even know you know, the, the energy that hit them at the time, they are completely taken, like we all are, this is important, when we have traumatic passings, our soul is taken from our body and it just happens to the body, you know, because as a murder detective, dealing with murder victims, they always show what happened to their body, they're never in it. And so they said they're safe, they're well, and straight away they're in the arms of the cerebral. Of him. Um, and so that's what we have to envisage when we hear of war or, you know, people that are dying on a mass scale. We need to think of sending love and imagining them in the arms of an angel. And, and that's what they encourage us to do for this time and just prepare us that in the next couple of years it's going to be up and down. It's that simple, but it's all for the greater good. And we need to trust that process and trust them. What they're trying to do with the global economy is they're trying to make, I feel, just one currency. This is what I keep feeling, that they're trying to bring about one currency. There are certain leaders and presidents in the past that tried to stop this. Um, and I don't know if they got killed for it or not. I have no clue. But that's what they're trying to aim for. So people that are working for the greater good are going to try and stop that with everything they can because I feel and I've been told that if we get into that global one currency environment, they can control everything, our credit, our wages, how much we earn, how much they can take from us, and they've got everything then, haven't they, if it's all digital. So, so there is a threat of that. So it is try and use cash, try and create and the other thing as well that i was told um, was to invest in if you've got any money is to at the moment invest in gold they told me that two weeks ago to invest in gold or silver these are solid ways forward to, to protect your money um because I still don't know at the moment because I keep saying to them, you know, what's happening? And all they keep saying is we are trying to stop it. 
I'm like, okay, so is it going to be stopped? And all they keep saying back is, we are trying to stop it and balance the global economy and global finance. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. So I've got a feeling that it will be, I do feel we're mostly going to go into some form of digital currency, but it won't be as controlling and it won't be as dire as people think it's going to be. Um, so there's so I don't quite I've got to put my hands up because I keep asking them. They are not great on dealing with material things. They are very much invested in us as human beings and the planet. And so every time I ask about the material levels of the planet, it's like, like well, no, it's really important for us. So we're working on it. We're working on it. So as I say, I hope that they are creating new leaders, new executives that will, if we do go into some form of digital currency, will not use it to their benefit and, you know, take away our own independence. So I feel that this is a battle still going on. I say if you can use cash, use it. Try and keep it present in your countries whilst this is going on. Um, because, you know, they keep they keep trying to set places up and businesses, no cash, just cards, and you're like, oh, oh. So we have to keep trying to use our cash whilst this battle goes on in the background. And that's the wonderful thing about the angel realms and all of the other realms that are helping us is that it's like these invisible invisible battles going on in the background that most people aren't aware of. But when you do have this spiritual awakening, it's not awful by any means, but you suddenly become more aware and more protective of your planet and more protective of the people in it and your community. And you, you tend to be more benevolent and more thoughtful about other people as well. So, you know, this, the more it, it just, even if it's one at a time, the more people it influences, the less, the less we're going to be in trouble of being controlled. You know, and they have tried it. They tried it with COVID. They've tried it with many things. Um, and we're like, no, you're all right. So it's working. We're getting there, you know, and people are being exposed. If you look at certain vaccinations, you know, suddenly these corporations putting their hands up saying, yes, that was bad. It's been banned. So, you know, it's it's there's a there's a short karma and people will notice this as well. This is also something else they said for 2024. There's a short short line of karma so for instance just say if you i don't know just break a flower from something and you pull the flower off and you pull it all apart then most probably quite quickly you'll have a flower that will die in your garden i'm trying to think of an analogy here so it seems that the the strong because the vow is so thin now between us and the other realms the the karmic actions of people seem to be happening quicker so you may see someone that's done a bad deed and then they will get punished for it or they get something happen to them a lot quicker than they normally would. Some normally normally wait until they, they go through their judgment with Archangel Jeremiah when they go up to the spirit world. But I've noticed it. I've noticed if I send something out of kindness, it will come back really quick. And I'm like, wow, that was quick. Or I'll send out a thought process to the universe and say, look, but, you know, I really need this now. Can you bring the right person? And they go, yeah, you deserve that because of your karmic, your behaviour, the way you've, yeah, we'll have that. And it comes, you know, you'll get the person standing in front of you. So we need to continually be working on all of this. Um, I, I feel intuitively that it's not going to be great if we go into this global one currency business. And so I really hope that I get an update on it soon. I can't force it. I just keep asking them and it's, we're working on it. So I'm like, okay, all you need to do is tell your people to use their, their currency. I'm like, okay. So that's all I've got concerning finance and the global situation we're in. So they're dealing with that on a big scale at the moment, poorer countries, um, and trying to enlighten them, wake people up there so that they become more benevolent, more kind, so we can start eradicating more of this darkness that's got in, really, that's infiltrated in around everybody um, that is open to it. You know, I think there's there's just... so, And, and the good thing with that is, again, because this, this thinning vow is that the people that are bad... They'll just they just almost flash badly, so they're exposed straight away. 
you know, and this karmic ramification thing that's happening, it's sped up. And so, you know, they're getting, they're being exposed. You go, whoa, you're bad. They used to be able to like creep around and do all their, now it's like, boom. And you're like, wow, you're a bad person. So that's happening. You know, this it's awakening not only us to, to a higher consciousness, it's awakening people up to reality of who's in their life, who's, who's you know, governing their life, who's in charge of their country. So it's all good, but it's just going to take a bit of patience. 